Hey guys, what's up? This is Koga Ninja. For more information on my training, check out www.koganinjadicecontrol.com. Uh, if you want to come out and train with me at one of my seminars or one of my one-on-ones, you can reach out to me uh, at koganinja777 at yahoo.com. Also, all the information will be below in the video description. Um, I also have some amazing products for sale. All the links will be in the video description. Also, check out my website for more information. Also, if you want to just contact me direct, koganinja777 at yahoo.com. Okay, guys, so uh, this is going to be the first video of a series of videos that I will be producing, and it is going to be on betting strategies. I'm going to start introducing some betting strate strategies for you guys from very, very simple to uh, very obscure type of betting strategies that have a, a lot of people haven't heard of or seen. Uh, just a, a disclaimer, I personally do not uh, endorse betting strategies per se. Uh, it's always been my personal belief that betting strategies are only as good as your throw. If you do not have a great controlled throw and one that has an edge over the casino, I could give you I could give a shit how good the betting strategy is. You need to have ex you need to have an excellent throw for anything to work on craps. Meaning if you want your money management to work correctly, you want your betting strategy to work correctly, any of that you need to have a awesome controlled throw. Now, the the purpose of these videos is just to introduce you some solid betting strategies that you can implement along with your controlled throw. Uh, it'll, it'll get you feeling the game better. Uh, you'll have a little bit better understanding. But like I said, through this series of videos, I'm gonna be introducing just different type of betting strategies. But like I said, the betting strategy is only as good as your controlled throw. In this video, Travis McGee is gonna be talking to you about a betting stra strategy that he knows of. And so we're, I'm gonna let him take over all right, Travis, take over. Let's see what you got. Hey guys, I forgot to mention one thing. Let me let me make a quick clarification before Travis gets into this uh, uh, strategy. The words system, strategy, and a word that I came up years ago, approach, are all the same words. They're all the same thing. They're interchangeable. They mean the same thing. So Travis is going to go over this little betting approach, this betting strategy, this little betting system. It's all the same thing. It's not anywhere compared to the methodology that we like to refer to as the Trinity method. That's a whole different ball of wax, guys. So this, uh, so, if, so when you hear the word system, strategy, and approach, they're all the same. So betting system, uh, betting strategy, betting approach, all the same words. They all mean the same thing. And it is not what a method is. A method is a completely different ball of wax. It's a, it means something completely different. And the only method, betting method, that I endorse is the Trinity method. That's it, nothing else. So let's go ahead and get into, in, into it with, with this uh, simple little betting strategy that uh, Travis McGee has for you. Take it away, Travis. Hello fellow craps players. Today we're going to review the Paroli system. There are various betting strategy and systems used in craps gambling. The biggest fallacy is that using system swings the odds in your favor. In the casino game of craps or bank craps, all the bets are in the house's favor. Although you can place large free odds bets, those are usually these bets back here behind the pass line or the don't pass to ensure your losses and reduce the house's edge. This also reduces the amount you can win. 
Remember that to place the free odds bets for a zero house edge, you need to have to place a pass line bet or a don't pass line bet, meaning that the overall odds are still a negative value when you combine the two. So this is one of my, the Paroli system is one of my favorite systems for craps. Again, taking in mind what Kogan Ninja has explained, the difference between systems and methods. It's a positive progressive betting system where you can increase your bets after winning, but decrease your bets when you lose. The advantage is that it never forces you to wager more money than your starting bet. Let's take a quick glance at it. And it's to be wagered on an even bet on the craps table. Let's use the field simply because it I can reach it easier here. Start off with $5, and it's a parlay type betting system. We put our initial bet of $5 in the field. We win that bet. Dealer pays us five. We take that five. We press, full press, parlay. Next row, we win. The dealer pays us. On that, we take those winnings, we press full or parlay, we win that, and the dealer pays us, and we win that. And so after three wins, we have a net profit of 35 on our initial bet of $5, or plus seven units for a nice return on investment of just $5 is plus seven units. And that's, in a nutshell, is the Paroli system. Paroli is a form of positive betting progression. This is the table of outcomes for the Paroli betting system. Koga Ninja will insert this table of outcomes at the end of the video, so if you're not able to zoom in on it, on your video, he will he will have this at the end of the, the video for your viewing. The name Paroli derives from the Latin term par, meaning one that is equal. In its simplest form, the system can be thought of as doubling a wager after each win until three consecutive wins are achieved. This tactic has been employed with some success since the 16th century when it was used in an Italian card game. Today, the Paroli system is most effective in wagering on roulette, baccarat, although it can be used for any game really that features an even odds bet, including craps, like in the field, the don't pass, and the pass line. But it's also used in pie gal poker and with some modifications even in blackjack. So how does the Paroli betting system work? The object of the Paroli betting system is to obtain three consecutive wins in a row while doubling or parlaying the wager after each win. To begin the progression, a single unit is wagered on an even money outcome. Again, such as betting on the pass line, the don't pass, or the field in its simplistic form. If the wager loses, one unit will be bet again. The player will continue a flat betting in this way, never varying the amount until the wager wins. Then following a win, the player will be betting two units. If this bet loses, the player will return to the wagering of that original unit. In this example, the one unit. However, if the two unit bet wins, the next wager will be doubled again to four units. The final bet of the progression, win or lose. The wager will result in either a net loss of one unit or a profit of seven units. 
and a new progression begins. Although each parolee progression must end on either a loss of the successful completion of three wins in a row, it is useful to think of the wagering in a groups of three bets in order to understand the possible outcomes. Again, this is summarized in this table. Note that any three consecutive bets There are eight possible patterns of wins and losses, only one which results in a seven unit profit. So out of all your possible results, first, second, and third bets, this table gives you all the different possibilities. So let's, let's go through some examples. Again, it's, it's important to realize each pro rolling progression must end on either a loss or the successful completion of three wins in a row. And you can look through this table and you can see that there's either a loss here on the third bet or you're starting out with a win, either your third win or you're continuing, you'll see this asterisk here in the table, and you're continuing to go with your wins or a loss. So it's, it's a simple, and that's why I have these dice here, you're just, you're looking for three wins in a row. Or you're, you're going with three bets, ending with a third bet as a loss, or you're continuing it out with those three wins. So let's, Let's look at our table of outcomes. Let's go through an example. Again, we're using the field as our example. This first line, we make our initial bid in the field, $5. The first bet, first row is a loss. The dealer takes our money. We make that initial flat bet again. Same wager, $5. The second row, it's a loss. We make our third bet. Again, it's a loss. As this first line shows, we've lost three units. And that's one possible result under the parolee system. Okay. Let's go to the second possibility in this table of outcomes. Again, we start with our initial bet of $5. Again, it's a loss. Dealer takes our money. Second bet, same initial bet, $5. It's a loss. We set it aside. Dealer takes our money. Our third bet, Again, the initial bet, $5. We win that. The dealer pays us. And we'll look at what our net result is at this point. Even though there's an asterisk here, and in this progression, we would keep going. But for this table illustration, we'll look and see what our box score is at this point. We should have a net result of just a negative one unit, which is equivalent to our initial investment. So this, this one unit that we just won pushes one of the losses that we, we just made. This is, we still have this initial, this bet that we just made here. So our net loss right now is our, still our initial investment. We still have this bet that we have going on the table. And we've won back one of our losses. So our net result is still just our one loss here. We still have this writing on the table. And so that's how we have this net result of minus one here. 
So we can either stop here, but the Proli system tells us that we should continue the progression with this little asterisk until we have three consecutive wins or a loss on that. All right, let's go to another example. We'll skip down to the second to last line. Again, we start with our initial investment of $5 in the field. The first one's a win, the dealer pays us five. We take that and parlay it, or press. We have 10, again, the second bet, we win. Dealer pays us bet, we take and press. And the third row, we lose. So we take, the dealer takes that money. Our net result, all we've lost is our initial investment. All we did was had a $5 initial investment is, is all we've lost in the parole system. Okay, next example. Look at the last line. And we make our initial investment, five. We win this, dealer pays us. We take that, we press our parlay. Second roll, dealer pays, we take that, we press, and we win that, dealer pays us, and since that's our third win, we rack that, and we're up seven units, and that's our plus seven units there. So in this example, we've played the Paroli system four different times. We've been minus three, minus one, that's, well, we stopped there instead of going. So that's minus four, minus five on this one, but plus seven there, so we're up two, even though we just had a, a plus one session. So our one win paid for our other three losses, and that's the advantage of this progressive system is you only need one win to pay for your small losses. Now, what is the logic behind the parolee betting system? The strategy rests on the premise that wins and losses tend to come in streaks player can maximize profits by betting more during winning streaks and less during streaks of losses. The Paroli betting system further ensures that no wager will ever risk more than a single unit from the player's bankroll. Larger bets are made possible by units won from the house, and each time a succession of three wins occurs, the profit is seven units, which should cover the accumulated small losses as shown in our example. The Paroli system can be much more stable and consistent than negative per betting progressions. What's more, unlike many other systems, Paroli does not require a substantial bankroll. When losses occur, they are gradual and unspectacular. Also, table limits are never a barrier to successful completion of the Paroli progression. Now, why is the Paroli betting system flawed? The risk of playing the Paroli betting system is exclusively is that the accumulation of one unit losses can far too excessively exceed that seven unit wins required to pay for them. So you have to be careful if you have all these, all these losses. As shown in the table of outcomes, there are five patterns that loses money on three bets. And those are marked in, in yellow if you have a color viewing. It's one, two, three, four, five. There's are these po eight possible outcomes, five are losses. There's one that breaks even in the strategy. And there's only two patterns that yield a profit. And that's this one, and the bottom one, the seven. 
Now, the net result of all the patterns is neither neither a profit nor a loss, but is a zero sum. That means the system will be successful only when the game is streaking in the player's favor, which is obvious, obviously true of most betting systems. Moreover, because the house has an inherent edge in all wagering, the probability of a loss on any particular even money wager is slightly greater than the likelihood of a win. Again, you have to adhere to the warnings of any strategy or system that Koga Ninja has given you. But if you take all the different betting strategies and betting systems for an advantage player, uh, if you try to gain an edge in different in the different areas that Kogan Engine gives you, and add those together, not only with the controlled toss and the Trinity method, the evolutionary throw, these are different areas that can give you an edge in the casino. Good luck at the table. Again, thanks to Kogan Ninja for allowing us to use his casino studio. All right, guys, there you have it. Um, for more information, check out www.koganinjadicecontrol.com. Check out all the badass products I have for sale on my website. Also, if you want to do a live training or come out to one of the seminars I've got going on, uh, hit me up at koganinja777 at yahoo.com. All the information uh, will be down in the video description. So check it out and hit, it, hit me up. All right, guys, take it easy, and we'll see you soon. Later.